So what we're showing today is a, a new secure micro that we developed. We have a long history in payment terminals where we sell things that are, have a very high degree of security uh, that companies like Visa and MasterCard ask for in those credit card terminals. That security hasn't really worked its way into the IoT yet. Um, and what we're seeing is we're starting to see customers pull for that security now and actually start to realize, hey, we've got issues we got threats, we need to address those somehow. So what we've developed now is a much more broad-based, broad market-friendly microcontroller with some of the most advanced security technology available in the industry. So our new product, the Max32520, um, it's really a broad-based microcontroller. It's an ARM Cortex-M4F. It's got lots of memory, so you can design pretty intelligent edge applications, two megabytes of secured memory. Uh, and so really that can go into lots of things. We're seeing interest in medical devices where there's a high uh, degree of security required, um, in telematics devices, um, plenty of other IoT sensor type applications, even industrial sensors. Uh, so lots of different uh, places for this microcontroller to go. So the Max32520 uh, is our first microcontroller to integrate chip DNA technology, which is our implementation of PUF. Uh, PUF is the most advanced form of key security technology that you can get. PUF stands for Physically Unclonable Feature or Function. And essentially what we do is we take uh, some of the very small uh, random noise essentially in the substrate of the silicon itself and we harness that into a random number. The power in that is that can become your private key in a crypto system that nobody else can ever extract. It's very difficult for an attacker, even with physical access and considerable resources, to extract that key information. So what that means is a device that's left out in the field, like an IoT device on the farm that we talked about, uh, it, it is very difficult for an attacker to get the sensitive information out of that that would let them break the system. So we've certainly seen the need for uh, security, especially at the embedded level, to be more pervasive, more broad, for a long time. Um, and you know, me personally, I, I've been pitching secure microcontrollers for, you know, for many, many years. And it's been difficult to find homes for this stuff, difficult to find um, customers with that need. They all recognize security as a need, but we're never quite sure what to do with it. We never really had a good business driver for it. With the attacks we've seen over the last couple of years, lots of companies are starting to see, you know what, before we deploy these cameras or these sensors or things that are gonna be out in the field, we need to think more about security. We need to make sure that what we're going to deploy for five years, 10 years, 20 years is going to be just as secure in five to 20, five to 20 years as it is the day we ship it.